morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions, and thank you for our time together. Again, we could go all through the Old Testament, Jeroboam, Rehoboam, Asa, learning that Solomon's mother was an Ammonite princess, she wasn't a Jew. There's so much we could teach you. But I want to talk to you about the greatest gift that Jesus ever gave the church, the gift of his name. We cast out demons in his name. We pray to the Father in his name. We heal the sick in his name. In fact, the Bible teaches us that whatever we do or say, we are to do or say in his name. Now this is a gift he's given us, this power of attorney to, to function as, as him in this world. And I want you to notice what spiritual religious leaders said to the apostles. We closed out yesterday with it in verse 18 of chapter 4. They called them in again and commanded them not to speak or teach at all in the name of Jesus. The persecution comes in a variety of forms, but a, a gold collar with diamonds and platinum is still a collar that would bind a dog. Persecution may come in very beautiful forms, but it's still persecution. As it was then, it is now. The world does not mind religion. The world did not mind, and religion did not mind that the apostles would teach. They could pray for the sick. They could do whatever they wanted. Just don't use the name of Jesus. Have you noticed that the world today is perfectly accepting of a spirituality? Just leave out the name of Jesus. Just, just leave out the name of Jesus. I took my daughter to see Fast and Furious the other day. Now, there's a couple of spots in there you need to close your eyes at, but when we got down to the end of it and they started to pray, I punched my daughter and I said, watch this. So here are the super cool dudes, the super cool dudes, okay? Drinking their beer, sleeping with people that they're not married to, all of the sin, but they're the super cool dudes living a life of sin and they want to pray, but they leave out the name of Jesus. You see, brothers and sisters, it's the cool thing today to be spiritual. It's the cool thing today to pray. It's the cool thing today to, to sing religious songs and to have some spirituality in your life. But beware when persecution comes in the cloak of coolness, because brothers and sisters, it's just as much persecution as if they took the skin off of our backs and hung us on crosses. It's still the same persecution. Now I want you to notice how the apostles respond to this, don't speak or teach in the name of Jesus. Number one, they prayed. But what they prayed for was two things. They said, Lord, enable us to speak the word boldly, over in chapter 5, verses 27 through 31. And number two, enable us to have signs and wonders and miracles. And brothers and sisters, there's a, a coming demarcation line in the spirituality versus true Christianity in this world. And it's going to come because the people of God are going to be bold and you're going to be seen to be bold. And it's going to come because God's going to do miracles among us. The greatest prayer of my heart right now is for more miracles. Blind eyes open, deaf ears open, lame walking, Cancer heal, diabetes heal, kidneys brought back to life again. This is something we want to see. As God does miracles among us, as God enables us to see the miraculous, the world will see the difference between spirituality and true Christianity. We need to use the name of Jesus and see miracles today.